right, so I'm working on creating a tier list video. I've got my graphic. Uh, I think I want it to be like this, and then I'll just drag stuff in from the sides. Um, but one of the things you need to do, obviously, when you do a tier list, is you need to have stuff to put in the uh, columns there. All right, so I have got a bunch of fruit that we're going to do. We're going to do like a fruit tier list. Uh, the problem is I've obviously just uh, got my uh, various images. I did make sure I got 800 by 600 images. I could have gone higher res, but... Uh, by the way, that's too much, right? Because in the tier list, and I looked at it, I was like, the seven rows, you know, it's about 1080, so probably about 140 pixels high would be okay. Um, so I've got this thing called Power Toys. Uh, and I'm trying to think, like, some of the problem is some of them will be uh, stretched and stuff. Like, that is the only issue here. Uh, but actually they won't be, will they? Because apart from this one, uh, yeah, it was kind of a smart thing to do what I did. Like, obviously if you've got some images that are the wrong shape, it's not going to go down well. Uh, can I rotate this somehow? Uh, let me rotate it. Maybe just put them all into like a landscape. I don't know if that, what, what that is actually doing though. Doesn't actually change much, does it? What does it? Does it actually do something? Uh, this one is going to be a problem because it's literally a square. We well, can probably get away with that one um, because we're going to be making square images anyway. All right. So once you've got the images how you want them, we'll see what happens with those ones. Uh, we can look at this uh, image resizer in Power Toys. So. Um, I know I want to get basically a, a 142, and it, it should be a, yeah, it should be a square, I guess. Uh, or, now I think about it, right? Uh, if I look at it, it's, it's like this. So, I could do a bit longer on the horizontal. I could do, say, 200 by 142. Uh, and that might actually, be, might not be terrible in terms of the scale. If you look at like 800 by 600, what is that? Is it a three uh, three quarters ratio? Add a size. Let's do that. If it'll work. Want to work? Uh, it's actually working, but I am. All right. So uh, can we edit that size? Yes. Uh, fit. It does have the stretch options. I'm not going to do the stretch stuff. Um, so yeah. So we want it to be 200 by 142. Uh, and this can be uh, our tier list one. I'm not sure about the uh, file name format. We'll see what happens anyway. So we're going to go to our fruit and we want all these to be in that format. You can also do this in Lightroom as well, I believe. Uh, but this is just one extra step that maybe I don't really need to take. So what do we have? We want to resize our pictures. Uh, and we want to select our size tier list. We don't want to ignore the orientation of the pictures. So that is actually handy that we changed that because I didn't realize that was an option. Uh, resize the original pictures. No, make pictures. Uh, we could remove metadata. Because the thing is, these, when you get CC0 images, you can do stuff like that. And often it's just like, you know, I don't want metadata. You know, I mean, and I might want to put metadata on later. Uh, but for some of my projects, so it probably makes sense to actually remove it. Uh, let's go. So hopefully, yes. Uh, the problem is, though, uh, what has actually happened here? So we've got the smaller ones. All right, so I like to do stuff like this because I might be using it for something else. So we can just put these guys in here instead. And these are all the uh, larger files now, right? Yeah. Um, did I customize? Why? It's so like, why is the, uh... oh yeah, it does work now. So yeah, so you can see, we. St okay, we have the larger files here and the, uh... and now we have our custom files here, which are all super small. All right. So let's go into Photoshop now. And let's see what we can do with this. So I want to put these, uh, I have my uh, background then. Let's uh, do, see what we can get. Uh, I think it's in here, is it? There we go. Load files into stack. 
and we need to load all these uh, files. All right, so we'll open our uh, new images that we've got here. Can we just put the whole folder in? Oh no, I guess we can just select, can we just select them all then maybe? I think that's probably the way to do it. Hmm. I'm tempted to try attempt to automatically align source images. I wonder what will happen. I will see right now. Oh, is it really doing that? Oh, what is going on? Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I didn't really want to do it exactly like that. I guess can't I just... Uh, that's weird. It looks like they're in here, right? But they're not. All right. Well, whatever I did there. So what I basically do, right, is... Yeah, so then I could just bring them in like this. Uh, is this going to fit in the... Yeah, you know what? It actually fits really well. They actually fit really well here. So how could I, the thing is, as long as I can actually, uh, I've got the ability to actually click on the thing, it doesn't really matter if they're uh, overlapping. I don't know, like, this is my first look at how to actually do this. Um, the thing is, I could probably go like, I've got like quite a few images here, right? So that's all I've got. Uh, honestly, and then we do control one, uh, and then if we do in our view, Apparently you can press F to do this. Doesn't work for me. So yeah, what I could basically do is just block off. Uh, I could just block off like literally after this point. Uh, well, yeah. You see, once I go a bit beyond there, I'm going out of. I'm going beyond the borders of the canvas. But you know, I could still adjust it here. I, and also, I have this space. Uh, I can't really go there either. So I kind of have to put it in here. Uh, you know what though? I don't think that the little, I could have just, uh, yeah. But yeah, so that is one way that we could do a, uh, a tier list here. All I have to do is in post, I just block out these parts, block out these parts. Um, or I could move, I can, you know, you can do whatever you want really, as long as you've got it like this, as long as, you know, this area is, going to be always visible, right? Um, so you want to just tuck it in. Alternately, I could just literally have them all, I could have just left it how it was. <laughs> that is really stupid now I think about it. Uh, I don't know, it's like I could have just left it how it was and just put it right in the corner, right in the, in the, in the, in the corner, giving myself the maximum possible room, but at the same time, if I'm making a video, I'll be like, mm, I might want to do blackberries next, I might want to do avocado next, do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, but anyway, I hope this helped uh, you to understand how you might want to create a tier list video in Photoshop, and that will do for this video, so thanks for watching.